Hello out there in YouTube land. This is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. I'm here to do your mid-month reading from now to the end of December. Uh, some of you, this is going to be for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, v uh, Venus, Sign of Virgos. Uh, I did Sagittarius first because it's their birthday season. Uh, and I'm going to try to do that every month, you know, do the birthday season first. And then we're going to work down to, you know, the most views. So I've been getting the most views from this month from Virgos and then Aquarius and then on down the line. So thank you guys for viewing. I really appreciate it. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Virgo. Okay, some of this stuff could happen to you guys already. Some of you could be already happening. And for some of you, it may take place in your future. But I am going to do a past, present, hopes and fears, what's coming towards you, uh, what to do, um, hopes and fears. I mean, um, your future or possible future and a possible outcome, okay, for, for you. And I am going to be doing um, for, uh, the first ones I'm doing is going to be for couples, and the next one, uh, and I'm going to break it to the uh, singles all in one video. So when I say it's for the singles, and I give you a little time thing, would somebody please go in there and time stamp it uh, when the uh, when the couple, uh, singles one come up? Time stamp it. I'll give you, I just don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. And thank you all who, who are going to help. Um First of all, I just want to let you guys know these energies are coming from spirit. They're just energies that's coming in, okay? And they are worldwide. You guys know the drill on this by now. So we're worldwide. Um, don't take don't take it personal to me as far as whatever the energies are that I'm going to be reading for spirit that they are, you know, giving me the energies to read from intuitively or, you know, even with the cards or however they send me the energy. That's what I'm going to deliver, the truth. If you're not ready for truth, this ain't the channel for you. Go ahead on. Okay, just to throw that out there, let you know ahead of time. Uh, I'm, I, I don't have time to play. We, there's no time left to play. It's time to get serious with our lives now. Now, what we're going to do also for the holidays from now to the end of the month, instead of doing name your price because we have some people that are out there that, you know, are cuckoo for coconuts and don't understand how this situation goes, okay, and try to take, you know, try to take you uh, for a ride, you know what I'm trying to say. So, we're going to do a let's make a deal type of situation. You make a deal, call me, whatever, email me, text me, whatever you want to do. Make a deal, and we'll just see where we go from there. But I guarantee it's not going to be the price that I normally charge, okay? I know that for a fact, but nobody's going to be going uh, low-balling nobody, you know? Especially if you want a 30-minute reading or a 60-minute reading. And I do have a $10 reading as well. The $10 reading is going to be like a question. If you want a question answered, email me or text me. And um, all the information is below on how to go ahead and uh, pay. If you want to call me first, that's fine too, okay? So we're going to do it like that. Let's make a deal going on now until the end of December. So get your readings in there or get your question in there for $10, okay? $10 for your reading. You want a 30-minute reading, we're going to make a deal. You want a 60-minute reading, we're going to make a deal. Okay, so I'm going to start off the reading and give you an overall energy with my cards here. Simply Love, Love's Wisdom. That's the name of them. I haven't got them up on my website yet, but they are for on pur for purchase. I'll probably have them done after I get you guys mid, mid, mid months done. I'll go in there and put them up there so you can see, you know, if you'd like to purchase them, okay? Or, you know, even call me or text me, whatever. I can get the cards out to you if you'd like them. Thank you so much for all of you who purchased uh, my cards that I do have online now on my website, which was listed below as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for texting me and telling me how much it helps, but it's not about me. It's, it's spirit, okay? That's spirit working through me to help you guys, okay? And even help myself as well, you know? We all need help. We're all in this together. There's no exception to, to no rules, all right? I don't care who you are, I don't care where you come from, don't care what you do. It's still, we're all together here to help one another. So this type of work helps me to heal as well from, from whatever happened to me in, in my life. And I'm so thankful that I'm able to help other people. I really am. So, let's see what the overall energy is for the sign of Virgo. See. There's too many came out on that one. Let's see. Virgo, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Virgo. This over here so I can remember. 
Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Virgo from now. And this is going to be for the couples, okay? Couples. 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Virgo. What's your overall energy? Come on, now. Somebody pop some. Here we go. Wow. This minute came out. Okay. I got you. I got you, Spirit. I see what you're doing. Okay. This thing. And I'm going to um, use regular cards, you know, regular playing cards to to verify this. And what you got is the wisdom card. Wisdom. Kind of reminds me of the hermit card in the regular tarot deck. It's like, uh, see, because she's holding that lamp there. So she's, you know, her or him, you are a male or female here, okay? Talk about some uh, gaining wisdom, gaining knowledge, uh, looking inside yourself. Um, kind of like being to yourself is wisdom and that's where you gather your wisdom from is just you know following the light within inside of you not what's around you but what's inside of you you gain wisdom that way that's like the hermit card to me okay and that's what made me come up with that wisdom and that lantern okay so some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo all right your own self this may be your own energy so couples couples okay now to verify it's like i see here there's wisdom here and you for you got the four of of you got the four of hearts which is the four of cups but you got that here let me put this down see if you can see it i don't know if you guys can see that or not but I'm not down. okay you don't need to be looking at my face all throughout the reading unless I do something funny. Okay, so the four, a four of hearts is reversed, and it talks about um, accepting the offer, having a change of heart, and this is going to be regarding some type of love situation. And maybe you know you had to gain some knowledge. Maybe you had to be to yourself for a while in order for you to reconsider an offer or accepting an offer or giving an offer. You could have been given somebody offer. We deal with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, so that's your that's your overall energy. We're gonna put that right here. And we're gonna put the little card there. Okay, now let's get down into the reading. Virgo couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's coming up? What happened in the past? What was the recent past looking like? Somebody may be, uh, somebody uh, you may be, uh, have been waiting for or, or kind of like contemplating about for a long time. You probably had to, you probably, some of you may have gotten out of a relationship or something, but you're going to make an offer to somebody or somebody's making an offer to you and it looks like it's going to be accepted or... Either they're going to accept the offer or you're going to accept the offer. Something like that. Because the four of hearts, which is the four of cups, is in reverse. If it was upright, I'd say somebody's bored as shit and they ain't going to, you know, they don't want to be bothered or something like that. <clears throat> but let's see. Recent pass here. We're going to draw two cards. Recent past is you had the hair front in reverse, okay? So somebody could have lost a marriage here or somebody wasn't faithful. In the recent past, somebody was being unfaithful. Somebody was going against the grain, doing all kind of some. I'm picking up probably illegal stuff or doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing in a relationship because the hairpin is like a relationship card or the marriage card, or, or you know, or somebody like uh, like. And, but in reverse, somebody's going against that. Some of you could have been dealing with a Taurus. Okay, recent past. Let's pull another one. Okay, got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, they or you decide to, this is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, decide to go in alone because of it, or just, you know, kind of be independent, doing your own thing, focusing on your work in the recent past. I might decide to let this go. 
somebody broke a contract with somebody or a marriage broke up here. Hit the comment section. So, now let's look at the present. What's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Like I said, some of y'all, this happened already, all right? Okay, it just depends on how so this is worldwide. So, you know, it's hard to pin down. You have to get a personal private reading to pin down for your own situation, period. Point blank. That's just the way it is. It's just general. All right. Even the signs are general. Even though I'm calling them out, doesn't necessarily it could be any sign. All right. So your present here is the world. So some of you here, the world here, some of you are just like moving on from a karmic situation or a karmic tie with somebody. You're moving forward. The uh, uh, the world talks about new beginnings. So you're starting all over again. And there's no coming back. Whoever you left or they left you, they're, they're not coming back or you're not going back to them. Um, you're moving forward with your soulmate with the two of cups. Some of you, are, this is your presence. So you're in a relationship. You don't move forward and left somebody behind or somebody left you behind. I'm picking up a lot of you left somebody alone who was being like dishonest and faking and all kind of crazy stuff with that hair fit in reverse. You could, be, like I said, been dealing with a tar. So I feel like, you know, in your recent past, you also decided to just focus on your money, focus on yourself and pull your own self together. Okay. And then now for some of you, I'm not saying all of you, just some of you, it's like you got everything is turning in your favor now with the world. You started a brand new beginning and no more karmic relationships. You put an end to that. There's no going back after the world comes in to uh, move things forward to you, bringing your uh, seasonal joy and happiness because here's the two of cups and that is your soulmate. Okay, so a lot of you right now are tied up with your soulmate. So your hopes and fears. Uh, the Prince of Pentacles, okay? This is your sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? For some of you out there. It doesn't necessarily have to be that sign. I'm just saying it could resonate to somebody out there. Uh, you got the Prince or the Princess of Pentacles where somebody's like, somebody could be like holding back. Um, or, or somebody got a gift or something like that they want to give you. Somebody want to, or you want to give somebody something, a gift or something tangible because Pentacles is money. It could be money or, or somebody giving you a gift or you giving somebody a gift. Uh, that's your hopes and fears. <laughs> if maybe if, I don't know. Let's see what goes on here. That's the next one in your hopes and fears is like, yeah, moving forward. Okay, charging forward, pulling yourself together and really, uh, the chariot is the best card to have. Okay, chariot is the best card to have. I feel like if you're offering somebody something, I feel like they're going to take it. Okay. I feel like they're going to, you know, because this is the yin and the yang here, you know, or the horses, you know, like you have two horses. If they're not in sync with one another, they can't charge forward like this. But I feel like, you know, you're offering something to somebody. And it could be something tangible. It could be money. It could be anything. Uh, romance, because we're talking about love here for you couples, okay? So, and I feel like it's just going to move forward. Somebody's going to move forward or you're going to move forward. could be with a cancer. Okay. So, that's your hopes and fears. I don't know what's your hope. To, your, your hope is to, you know, offer something. And uh, and your fear is that if they're going to accept it or not. But it looks like they are. Okay? Looks like they are. Okay, what's coming towards you? What's coming towards you, Virgo couples? What's coming towards you? What do you have coming towards you? Hmm, two of them just came out. Boredom. You know, somebody want to offer you something. It could be some, this person that treated you bad from the past. They might show, pop back up in your life before you know it. And um, they're offering that little bitty cup, that cup right there. Uh, they never filled your cups before. See them cups down there below? They're not filled. You're bored. You know, they, they left you empty inside. They left you feeling like, oh, where's the love? Now they want to come back because this is saying this is what's coming toward you for some of you. Somebody, you got somebody come back because it's right up underneath this tarts, this person who was being deceptive and doing all kind of crazy shit. Okay, that's all I can say. 
doing crazy stuff. Sorry. This cup ain't coming from the heavens. This cup is just coming from somebody, you know, behind the tree, like sneaking up on you, trying to do a sneak attack. Like, oh, I love you. I miss you. I, I've done the wrong thing, but I don't feel like you're going to accept it. This is the non-accepting card with the four of cups. But I don't know why you had in your overall reading here with the wisdom. Maybe you got some wisdom about something. something. Maybe it's accepting someone else. I don't know. It's kind of weird, okay? Because it came up here in your overall reading in reverse, but it's coming up, up, up right here. So that's what's coming towards you. Some type of love offer, but it, 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 it let me tell you something. They're going, they, it's still going to be that same way with them three cups down. They're going to offer. They just want to see if they just want to see if they can get back in because they know they messed up. But see, you're moving on with the six of uh, swords. Could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that could be doing this. That's coming towards you. Okay, uh, you're gonna you're you're gonna leave that alone for some of you, or it could be vice. Remember, the energy could be vice versa too. You turn it down, somebody who really. Okay, now, <laughs> now what to do? What to do? Well, we already see what to do. It's like it looks like you're just going to leave that situation alone and you're going to work on the relationship that you already have. You're going to collaborate and uh, this is the card of like you. some of you may be getting married to this person because there is a contract there. We're talking about love. The three of pentacles. That's your energy. Uh, you want to collaborate and work with someone. Okay? And some of you just might want to, you know, like I said, get it in writing. It doesn't have to be a traditional wedding. It just be like you want to couple up with somebody that you can work well with. That's what you should do. That's what to do. St stick to the lakes and the waters that you are used to. The, the past is a past for a reason in most cases. Some cases, you know, it could have just been somebody had to learn a lesson. Oh, be happy. They're saying nine of cups. Be happy, Virgo. You know, go on with this relationship that you got established now that you move forward on with, okay? And, and just be happy with that. Have your, they, whoever this is, they fulfill your cups or vice versa. You know, they that that's for, that's fulfillment right there. That's where your cups are, are, are standing, okay? And happy. And don't get, don't get your, let me tell you something too, Virgo. I'm going to get in y'all today. Don't, don't get too freaking happy, okay? Don't get too happy. Don't get like where you're feeling like, oh, I got it like that. Watch that energy because I just felt that energy coming in for some, not all of you. Where you could be like, oh, I got somebody or something like that. Or I got somebody and yeah, they really, really like me or, or you know, I'm, I got it like that or something like that. That's just for some. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's not really good if you're going to be smuggish about it don't be smug don't be smug because that stuff comes running right in your face this person they might send somebody else in their life and then you're gonna where are you gonna be looking like then are you gonna be all cups all up there like that now i'm just saying for some of you that's the energy that's intuition that's what i'm hearing but most of you i feel like you're just gonna stay committed to this relationship that you already in and you feel like it's your soulmate okay and you're and you're happy that's what you should do stay where you're happy now, your near future, but you can do what you want to do. Y'all got free will, remember? Do what you want. I'm just a messenger, shit. I'm just here delivering the messages. Don't, don't look at me. I am your messenger, simply love. All right. Hmm, son, Ace of Pentacles, hell. Making money together, like having, um... Uh, riches, like material things, gaining. You're going to gain a lot. New beginnings. Wow. That's the possible, that's the possible outcome for some of y'all if you, if you stay committed to something that you're, that you feel like, you know, that's somebody that's filling your cups up. And I feel like you filling theirs up too. All right. Or you need to if you don't, because this is a good that right energy right there is good. This energy right here. Whew, some some of y'all got somebody coming to, back to you from the and wanting to apologize and try to mess with you, try to mess this relationship up. But spirit is suggesting that you stay with what you got. You got something. You got a soulmate. You got somebody who wants to be with you, loves you, cares for you. And I feel like you do, too. 
But don't get like I said, don't be smug. Don't get to, don't don't get to where you feel like you got somebody because look how this person sitting in this chair and feel like it's all great. You know, like I got it all together because that shit can come all them cups can fall. Them cups can fall if you get beside yourself. You know, and thinking, thinking what you feel like you're thinking. But I feel like for a lot of you, you know, I feel like you're going to have lots of, of riches. Like the Ace of Pentacles is about money. Uh, in a relationship, it's about a new commitment. Like you, this is all new. It's all growing. I feel like you're going to have, have grow with money together. There's going to be a money. There's going to be some kind of wealth, some kind of uh, inheritance. For you or the other person, you're definitely going to be living the high life, okay? For some of you Virgos out there, congratulations. So, you know, stand your ground. Stand your ground. I know you've been a wounded soldier for some of you out there, male or female. Could have been dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, but I. But stand your ground. All the wands, everything that you've been fighting and going through in your life. In your life, they're behind you now. Yeah, it hurt, but it's time to just move on. Stand your ground. You still got that one wand. They're saying, go ahead on and persevere. The worst is over, uh, Virgo. Couples. So there you go for you couples. Congratulations. That was very nice reading. But just don't get too uppity for some of you. Be careful of that, that type of energy. And be careful of someone who wants to come back from the past. Okay, now we're going to do, that was for you couples, now we're going to do the singles. We're going to start out with my deck, and it is, the time is 21, 23, you guys, for the singles, please, 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 21, 20, uh, I forgot, y'all know, go back and listen to it. <laughs> Um, for the singles, for the sun, moon, rising, Venus sign of uh, Virgo. Singles. 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 Again, we're going to use my deck here. Simply love. You all, you're welcome to purchase them if you'd like. Love wisdom cards, okay? Here we go. Here we go, 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 go. Man, I forgot what order and how I did all this stuff, to be honest. Okay, you singles here. Um, for some of you singles are being ignored. Somebody's ignoring you or you're ignoring somebody, okay? For the singles out there. Or you feel ignored by somebody. That's your overall energy for the singles. Being ignored. Okay, let me... Um, with a regular... Um, card deck I'm going to verify what's just being ignored what's that all about spirit what is sign of Virgo single sun moon rising and Venus okay disappointment and regret okay you got the five of hearts in the upright so the five of hearts is the five of cups in the regular tarot deck talking about, you know, some somebody in regret or somebody is in disapp being disappointed and being ignored as well. So you're doing this to someone or somebody's doing this to you. That's your overall for you singles. OK. So let's get into the singles reading past, present, hopes, fears coming towards you, what to do, near future, possible outcome. Okay, Spirit, go ahead, give it to us. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for the singles. Singles in the house. <laughs> okay, looks like your past energy for you singles was like, you got the ki King or Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Look like you're riding high, high on some kind of hog. Again, you singles, something for some of y'all in the past, uh, your recent past or something's, you know, you found out somebody was, like, not living the, the life like you thought they were. You found out some, something about them that wasn't right, okay, for some of you. And your present. What's going on with the singles? Present. What's the present? There's two fell out. 
Okay, you got the Five of Wands in reverse. You stopped fighting in the Ace of Cups in reverse. You broke up with somebody. You let a relationship go or a marriage go. Because you were tired of fussing and the fighting, okay? That's your present situation for you single Virgos out there. Okay, what's your hopes and fears? Somebody let a new beginning go, right? Hopes and fears is that, you know, using your intuition, all right, or secrets. Some secrets exposed. Or your hopes and fears or finding out some type of secrets. Okay. All right. Hopes and fears, but you're going to be all right. You're going to go off to yourself, be independent. You may be, some of you may be, this is just for some of you. It's not for all of you, okay? Just if it resonates, take it. But that's some of y'all pre uh, present situation is like, some of y'all broke up a marriage or a relationship or separated or something because you got the five of wands. It's like you don't want to fight no more. You're tired of the fighting uh, with somebody who was being dishonest because the uh, um, inheritance in reverse. Okay. They may have came across like they was living the high life or something like that. Or they just may have been concerned about money or themselves with this king of pentacles. So some of you may have been dealing with your own energy or it's just you. Uh, something uh, flipped. Somebody flipped the script on your ass, and you flipped the script on them, and you know, uh, done away with all this fussing and fighting, and ended a relationship or a marriage for some of you. And your hopes and fears is like you use your intuition. You had to use your intuition, but you feared it though. But you knew something was going on, but you feared it. That was your hopes and your fears was that you were going to be by yourself, okay? You fear that you end up being by yourself. So, what to do? Here's two cards that fell out. What to do is stop freaking tripping with the Nine of Swords. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Pull yourself together. It's for the best anyway because they were just a liar and a cheater or something's going on here with this... Here's the King of Wands. Um, could have been with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, male or female, king or queen. Kept yourself up at night, or they did, or they are in fear, or, or they're tripping. Remember, the energies can go both ways. Um, maybe they can't sleep now that they done got caught because secrets are out with the uh, high priestess, or somebody held secrets or was afraid to see the secret. But it came out anyway because somebody was like feeling it. and But they was afraid to be alone. And now somebody can't sleep. Somebody could have been codependent in here in this situation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Near future for this, the uh, couples. Near future for the couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for Virgo. Couples. Couples. Couples, couples, near future, near future, near future. Um, you ain't waiting around no more. Hangman in reverse. It's like I ain't waiting. Oh, there's another one right behind it. Look, holding back. Somebody, you're not waiting around for something. You're just like, I'm done with it. I, you know what I'm saying? With the hangman in reverse and with the four of pentacles, it's like I'm, I'm just going to keep to myself. I'm going to hold on to my pentacles. I'm holding I'm holding back on my feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be vice versa energy where there's somebody else feeling that way about you. Um, that's the near future or what's going to happen for some of you. Possibly. You need a personal private reading because this is worldwide. Remember that, y'all. This is just a possibility for some of you. Um, if you listen to spirit, you got to listen to spirit for anything, for any type of outcome. <laughs> can't do this. What You can't bypass what spirit is, is saying, you know, and advising and think it's the outcome going to be what you feel like it's going to be. No, and you got to take the advice and then that could be, that's, that's your outcome. Okay. Well, this is the near future, okay? You're not waiting around. You're holding, you know what I'm saying? Just going to hold on to what you got and be to yourself, holding back. And, uh, why well, three cards come up? I'm putting this one back that was in, that's not sh standing up and take the two that are standing up, okay? So the possible outcome is this, you know, three of cups, having, having fun, 
enjoying your life, okay? Uh, toasted it up, maybe going out, maybe, in, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoying yourself, okay? And the Eight of Pentacles is like, you know, hard work. So a lot of you just going to just like, just, you know, a lot of you singles in the near future, because of this situation that happened to you, I feel like you're just going to um, chill out. You know, maybe you're just going to date for some of you because it is the Three of Cups. Could be the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Your own energy is here. And then you're just going to focus on work. Or you're just going to put your energy into once you find somebody or, you know, at, you know, or, or maybe this is, you know, having, you know, choices. Maybe there's three girls or three guys in the picture and you're going to work hard at, you know, really making a decision of, you know what I'm saying? Or, or putting a lot of effort into the one that you feel like is for you. Or just like I said, just going to be, some of you are just going to be like, just toasted it up or going out, having fun, meeting people, uh, kind of like putting yourself out there and then focusing on your work for you singles out there. That's what I'm seeing. If you need a personal private reading to get anything else, you know, hey, I'm here for you. Remember, we got that. Let's make a deal. Okay. Let's make that deal. Make that deal right now, baby. Okay, let's. I'm gonna pull two cards: one for advice, uh, for one for the couples, and one for the singles. <laughs> uh, if you like the music you hear in the background, there go the couples. And here we go for the singles. There go the singles. Just pop right on out. That's how I like you to work, spirits. <laughs> All right, for the couples, um, your advice is a happy, a happy move. I think I don't know who else got this. It might have been Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, because that's who I just did, Sagittarius. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment or whatever doesn't necessarily have to be employment. It could be for some of you. Is in the near uh, works. You might meet somebody at a job. Okay. The movement will uh, usher in positive new energies. Yay! Single Virgos. Y'all on your way. Y'all on the move. Okay. Now, that's for the couple singles. That's crazy. Well, whatever. Hit the comment section, y'all. Uh, singles, you got, I am the angel of families. A happy change or an addition is coming to your family. Did I shuffle these cards? Y'all see me shuffle these cards, didn't you? And it came up the same exact thing for the previous uh, reading I just did. Both of them. All right. I don't know if they were vice versa or whatever, but that is what it is. Okay. Let's get some more. Uh, one more advice card from the love deck. And uh, one's going to be for the couples. One's going to be for the singles. And then I'll let you guys go. And we can start making those deals. Okay? Make those deals from now to the end of the month. Is let's make a deal on a 30-minute, 60-minute reading. Or you can have a $10 reading question. All right? $10. You can email me, call me, or text me. However you want to do it. Okay? I'm going to get you all hooked up and set up. Okay, that one wants to fall. All right. So here we go. Um, some of you may be having children or hearing about a pregnancy. Okay. Or just, like I said, it just it could be you. It just depends. But children is uh, being affected. Children, your love life is being affected by children, and that is for the couples, okay? So some of you may, congratulations, maybe going on having children, you couples, because y'all had, you know, a really great reading about uh, a person. Uh, you might end up having children. This person may be pregnant, or you may hear something about a, a childbirth or something. Maybe your kid's kids having a kid or something like that, but children is going to be affected in this. Some of you could have someone who's pregnant. Okay, for you singles, it says express your love. Go ahead and make their romantic gesture. Okay, for you singles. Okay. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Virgo.
Virgo, I done done your re reading for mid-month, okay? Like I said, you want a personal private reading? Look, hit me up. We're going to make a deal, all right? We're going to make a deal. Whether it's 30 minutes, whether it's 60 minutes, or if you want a $10 um, uh, answering a question. You know what to do. All the information is listed below in the description. If you want my tarot cards or see all my other tarot cards besides the ones I just got hot off the press, uh, if you like those, go on uh, to my website, call me, text me, however you want to do it. I don't have them on my website yet. I'm going to do it once I'm done. All y'all guys read and I'll put them up, but you still call me, whatever, still get them sent to you. So thank you so much. You guys have the rest of Rest of the good December, and I love each and every one of you. Take care. Bye.